today I will compare Tiny11b1 versus Tiny11b2. We will find out which version use less ROM and less space. And believe me, the result will be unexpected. But before we start, I want to say thank you to my first patron on Patreon. Brian, you are the best. Literally, I'm going to download Tiny11, B1 and B2, install it on my old laptop. Then I'm going to show you how much space Tiny11 takes after installation, but without getting the latest updates. After that, I will try to get the latest updates on both of this version and I will compare how much space takes Tiny11 and Tiny11 B2. Also, especially for this video, I'm going to compare how much ROM system use in Tiny11 with updates, without updates. And you can decide for yourself which version is better to install on your old laptop or probably newer computer. It all depends on you. So guys, we are in the Tiny11 Beta 1 version. If you click on the startup menu, you may see some basic applications and some of them doesn't appear in this window. And that's because I didn't connect my laptop to the internet because after I will connect it, it will get some updates and become much larger. So first of all, I want to show you how much space Tiny11 takes literally right now without updates without internet connection for this i will click on the right mouse button on the local disk c then i will select show more options select this option so as you can see tiny 11 b1 without internet connection without updates takes 12.5 gigabytes of storage right now i'm going to press ctrl plus alt plus delete and i will show you how many ram system takes right now okay select task manager i will open it in full screen to make it more convenient and i will select performance so as you can see without the latest updates and internet connection tiny 11b1 takes 1.7 gigabytes of ram and actually that's not bad result not bad at all so right now i'm going to close this window and we're going to get the latest updates but for this we need to connect to the internet one more time i need to click on the startup menu and go to the settings as you can see, a lot of applications appear in our window after we connect laptop to the internet. I will open it in full screen to make it more convenient. Also, I want to remind you that this is the first ISO file that was available on NTDEV development website. Now you need to click on Windows Update and let's check for the latest updates. Click check for updates. So fellas, downloading process begin and actually we just need to wait. As you can see, such a shame, I cannot install four updates. As far as I understand, security updates. So I can close this window, but I installed all available drivers for my system. That's a good news. So as you can see, I installed all drivers. And now I'm going to show you how much space Tiny11 takes after I installed updates and drivers for my system. I will click on the right mouse button, show more options, wait a few minutes. As you can see, after I installed all available updates for my system and all necessary drivers, Tiny11 B1, which means Beta 1, takes 22.3 gigabytes of space. Now I'm going to repeat the same process. I'm going to enter Task Manager and show you how many RAM after this process Tiny11 takes. One more time, click on the Ctrl plus Alt plus Delete. Select Task Manager. So literally, I do not see some huge differences between before updates and after updates because right now you may see 1.9 gigabytes of RAM and before update, the number was 1.7 gigabytes of RAM. What I'm going to do next? Literally, I'm going to install Tiny11 Beta 2 on same Lenovo ThinkPad laptop since 2013. And after that, I'm going Going to compare differences between space and how many RAM Tiny11 takes before updates and after the updates. And of course, I will compare Tiny11 B1 and B2. 
2. Stay tuned. So fellas, right now we are in Tiny11 Beta 2 and as you can see, I also didn't connect my laptop to the internet. First of all, let's check how much space Tiny11 takes. Click on this PC, click on the rightmost button, show more options. In this situation, you may see that Tiny11 B2 has more 1 GB than Tiny11 B1 because Tiny11 B1 has 12.5 GB if you install it without updates and drivers and Tiny11 B2 has 13.5 GB. Quite interesting. It is what it is, so we have more 1 GB. I will close this window. If we click on the startup menu, you may see some basic applications, but I don't see application which is going to appear in our window. But probably situation may change after we get the latest updates. And of course, I'm going to check how many RAM system use right now. I'm going to press Ctrl plus Alt plus Delete. I will select Task Manager. Open it in full screen and select performance. So before getting updates and installing all necessary drivers on my laptop, actually we see the same result because Tiny11 B1 also use 1.7 gigabyte of RAM and Tiny11 B2 also use 1.7 gigabytes of RAM. But now we're going to get the latest updates and after that we can compare Tiny11 B1 and Tiny11 B2. I successfully connect my laptop to the internet and if I click on the startup menu without getting updates I don't see any application because I want to remind you in Tiny11 B1 after connecting to the internet we automatically see new applications but in this case we see only few apps. So let's go to the settings and get the latest updates. Click on Windows Update. Don't mention if you see this message because previously I forget to connect to the internet and I try to get updates without internet connection. So I will click here. As you can see, we have message updates available and literally we just need to wait until all updates will be downloaded and installed on our laptop or computer. So guys, as you can see, we almost get all updates except this one. Lenovo extension. Now we can close this window. I installed all drivers and now I'm going to show you how much space Tiny11 takes after getting the latest updates. Surprisingly, it only takes 18.5 gigabytes of space and that's hilarious because Tiny11 Beta 2 ISO file is much larger than ISO file Tiny11 Beta 1. So in this case, it's showing better result than Tiny11 B1. But the reason why I'm making this video, how much RAM does it take? So one more time, I will press Ctrl plus Alt plus Delete. I will click on the task manager, open it in full screen. And what do we see here? Actually, it uses more RAM than Tiny11 B1. As you can see, system use 2.3 gigabytes of RAM. If we compare it to Tiny11 B1, it used only 1.9 gigabytes after getting the latest updates. Yes, you cannot install all updates on Tiny11 B1. I can't. Probably you can. Let me know in the comment below. My conclusions. You can get more updates on Tiny11 B2, but also Tiny11 Beta 2 use more RAM than Tiny11 B1. And Tiny11 B1 takes more space after getting the latest updates and installing all necessary drivers. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it. You can also become a sponsor of my channel and I will mention all of my members in my future videos. And if you want to know how to run Tiny11 from your USB stick, definitely I recommend to click here on this video.